Okay. Uh, what were you? Oh, 21. So I thought this one was a little bit tricky, but I landed on like an infiltrative BCC. It looks kind of nasty and spiky in certain areas. Yeah. Infiltrative basal cell is exactly what I'd call this, or morpheiform if you if you like that term better. And you know, you can have little keratin-filled cysts in basal cell. I see it all the time. Sometimes I'll even mention that there's some squamous or keratinizing differentiation or squamous metaplasia, whatever. I don't think that's probably technically a correct term, but I do say that sometimes. And the main reason I mention that is not because I think it means anything, but just so the Mohs surgeon, if they see keratinization, they know, oh yeah, this is this is not a squam, it's actually a basal. And what what helps here is this. Look, we've got some obvious superficial basal over here. Now, you could have basal colliding with some other tumor, but I feel like when you see merging of obvious basal into these little infiltrative cords, and look how cellular and very busy the stroma is. So one of you earlier asked about the stroma. The stroma of infiltrative basal is, I think, a bit different than the stroma of the other paisley tie things like syringoma, desmoplastic trichope, and MAC. They all tend to have very dense pink sclerotic stroma, whereas in infiltrative basals, it's often a bit more fiber, fibroblast rich it's a lot more spindle cells, and it's often kind of bluish mucin-y mixed in. It's not as pink and dense. It's a little bit more uh, more bluish and, and busy stroma in infiltrative basals. So, yeah, I would call that an infiltrative basal. Good.